Are you serious? Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Acts 17 Apologetics. This guy here, his name is Dave Wood. David Wood. I don't know much about this man, but this I do know about this man is this man is a devoted disciple of Jesuit James White, who wrote uh, a couple books on the Trinity, but um, also what he is well known amongst those of us who adhere to the authorized version of the scripture is he wrote a couple books to, uh, called the King James Only Controversy. Um, James White. <clears throat> The man who, smiling Mr. David Daniels from Chick Publications, defended and called a brother and said that there is no paper trail evidence to prove that Jesuit, that Jesuit James White is in fact a Jesuit. Really? Really? And you know, here's some, and coming from someone who ought to know that the Jesuits if they want to hide someone, uh, can quite easily expunge uh, that kind of information that it will not be privily known. You know? This guy is a disciple of Jesuit James White. This guy is a raging... This guy... I'm... <clears throat> Do you see that? I'm a little angry, just so you know. I cannot promise you that my words will be cordial. This guy is a fool. This guy is an idiot. This guy is of Satan himself. And woe be to any of you who support or defend this devil. <clears throat> I, 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 I'm fluttered. I, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, first of all, Galatian, turn, get your authorized version of the scriptures. This is extraordinarily impromptu. Get your authorized version of the scriptures and turn in your authorized version of the scriptures to Galatians 6, one verse, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. This guy mocks God, mocks his word. He doesn't believe in a perfect standard. But what he, this guy, obviously he has been to a Jesuit cemetery school. Like I said, this I know of him, that he is a supporter of Jesuit James White. Okay. Uh, this, this guy did a video on the Trinity that will make your brain droop out your nose because he, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's stupidity. This guy is an idiot. Void of logic and reason. This guy is evil. This guy mocks the Lord. Dave, David Wood, Acts 17 Apologetics. And people defend this man and put this... Oh, wow. Wow. Also, let's remember Romans chapter 16. Verses 17 and 18. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And, of course, Jude. Jude. The, 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 uh, like I said, this is, this is extraordinarily impromptu. I, I came across this. Dude. Dude. Do. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Jude. Jude. Verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Prepare yourself. This is a question. 
This is a cemetery trained, Jesuit trained, Trinity boasting Christian. And you wonder why I myself personally am so about distinction when you got imbeciles like this. Jesuit trained. Prepare yourself. Get that out. Do you, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay? This this guy is a Christian. Okay? I look look at how look at his little bookshelf reminds me of somebody uh, never mind. Uh, but look at his bookshelf, right? Right? This guy is a Christian. Acts 17 apologetics. Okay? He he makes a big to do about uh, refuting Muslims. Muhammad cross-dressing and the London Muslim Patrol, okay? Now, some brain-dead, lost imbecile seeking to defend this idiot would be, oh, well, he's just proving a point. He's just doing it to make a point. Deuteronomy chapter 22. Deuteronomy chapter 22. Well, Brad, you're not going to... No, I'm not going to. This guy... Look at this. Look at this. Look at the... Number one, the guy... And, and the tattoos. This is a Christian. This is a Jesuit trained cemetery school graduate... Who, who stood in church buildings with a suit and tie, preaching whatever, and here he is wearing a dress, playing with lipstick, boasting his tattoos. This is a Christian. Lord, are you coming today? This is a Christian. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. <laughs> Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, okay. Okay. Okay, you... You, you fool. Who would defend this scum? He's just doing it to make a point. What say it to scripture? What say it to scripture? Well, that's Old Testament. Are you are you mad? You are mad, aren't you? You're crazy. Okay. Nowhere in anywhere in the New Testament is it undone that a man could wear that which pertains to a woman. You're crazy. You defend this guy. You defend this. I don't care who you are. You defend this. You're, you're, you're lost. There's no way. There's a, and look, look at that smug. He's mocking God. And the, and you like you might be saying, well, the, what a, the thing about tattoos, right? I, I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. Okay. Hey, you guys who live online with your hundreds of channels, see that? Why don't you put your talents to good use for change and go get them? Oh! Acts chapter 19, verse 28, okay? The thing about tattoos, okay? Okay? Ye shall not make a, a, a Leviticus 19, verse 28. There is a video on the channel, A Little Milk, where we talk about tattoos, okay? Tattoos are not okay. Tattoos are sin. You, as a lost man or woman, might have gotten that tattoo before you were saved. Okay? 
Now you are saved. Now you know that tattoos are wicked. Okay? You you could pay upwards to what? 20 grand to have a laser cut it off or do it off, uh, take it off of you, which leaves a scar in the uh, shape of the tattoo. Or you could be pretty crazy and take a knife and try to, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? But there there's grace there. You you know, I know people who are of the Church of the Living God who have tattoos. My wife, she has tattoos. She got them when she was lost. She got them when she was lost. And she knows now. She knows, of course, because she is of the Church of the Living God. She's like, oh, yeah, that I can't get tattoos. They're evil. Right. So, see, if you have tattoos... And then the Lord saves you. That that's that's so. I mean, it's not okay that you got a tattoo, but you're forgiven of that. You don't. You don't go about broadcasting them while wearing a woman's dress. And you know, you think about the Tyler Perrys, and yes, the beloved Monty Python, and said abomination. Those who wear things that pertain to women, they're abomination unto the Lord. Well, he's doing it to prove a point. This, this guy has no standard. His own little peevish, diseased, devilish, warped mind is his standard. This guy probably licks the foot of Jesuit James White. But, okay, Leviticus 19, verse 28. Okay? Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Well, see, I, I got a tattoo, but it's not for the dead. Comma! Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. See, Christians who want to justify sin will come to this, well, I'm not doing it for, for the dead. You look at that verse. Even go ahead and try to take away the comma. Okay? Even so, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Uh, that In old times, that was a sign of mourning, cutting yourself as a sign of mourning. Nor, 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 okay, let's, let's pretend that there's no comma there, okay? Nor, changing direction within the sentence, changing the focal point within the sentence. Nor, See, you're turning. Nor print any marks upon you. Okay, now let's, let's, let's pretend, even though there is a comma right there, let's pretend there's no comma there. Nor, you can't get away from that nor. That is a changing of the focus within the sentence. Okay? Because, all right, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Sign of mourning under the Old Testament, and to this very day, people do that. Okay, this is also a way that Catholics get uh, around to fly, uh, bludgeoning themselves with a cat of nine tails. Okay, but okay, nor turning the focus, print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. But there's a comma there. Let's get, okay. There's no comma there. I know there's a comma there. But that's your stupid, ridiculous argument. Nor. Okay? This guy is not saved. This guy is lost. He is, sent, he, he is guiding people to hell. Uh, what, what's, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? And that... A London-based group calling themselves the Muslim Patrol has finally managed to flip my annoy me switch. And now it's on. This man is a Christian.
every Muslim who ever sees this has every right to laugh. And every Muslim and everyone who is not of the Church of the Living God, they come to this, uh, this paltroon, this foolery, has every right to mock Christianity. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, now this idiot's talking. Suggests that Western nations should guard our core values against the demands of Sharia is immediately met with charges of racism, bigotry, and yawn Islamophobia. This man is wearing a dress, sporty, uh, boasting his tattoo, and he put makeup on his face. Phobia. Certain Muslims in the UK have been so thoroughly encouraged by the outright cowardice of our... And this, this is okay for someone who's a Christian today? Even though this guy is supposed to be a teacher? This is okay! This is okay! leaders and the media, they've started patrolling the streets of London to enforce Islamic law. Remove yourself away from the mosque. Go away from the mosque now. Muslim patrol. Muslim patrol. And cover up these naked women. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We call it, obviously, to, to, to not dress like that in Muslim era. A Muslim era. See, after the Church of the Living God is redeemed, caught up, the Christians that are going to be left behind, who are being led by bozos like this, okay, they're not going to be a threat to that man of sin, the son of perdition. Because the Christians that are that follow this idiot that are left behind, they're 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 already in the pocket of the Vatican. I mean, this this guy, this guy, David Wood, okay, wow, wow. But see. Once we get taken up, the Church of the Living God and the redemption of the purchased possession, okay? That man of sin, the son of perdition, is going to need a common enemy to rally everyone, the whole world around. And those of you poor Muslims out there, you sons of Ishmael, you're going to be the ones that he goes after. Why? The true enemy to Satan, the church of the living God, is going to be redeemed before the time of Jacob's trouble. Caught up. Idiots like this would refer to it as the pre-tribulation rapture. Okay? Okay? We get caught up. That son, that man of sin, the son of perdition, he is going to need a common enemy to rally the world together to go and lead on and to conquest over. Okay? And the Vatican is going to be primarily responsible funding, I believe, the Jewish people to rebuild their third temple. Hence, they're going to get that temple up like that. Okay? But there's a problem. Right now, today... The uh, Mosque of Omar, I believe it's called. If I'm wrong, forgive me. Okay? But that is on the site where the third temple is going to be rebuilt. That has to be removed. And once that gets removed, the Muslims, you sons of Ishmael, you daughters of Ishmael, you're going to call jihad. You're going to go crazy. You're going to fall right into the trap of the Vatican. And they are going to use that as a catalyst to uh, rally all the world around that man of sin, the son of perdition, to go and kill the Muslims. And it will be that that will ingratiate the Jewish people at that time onto the son of perdition. Okay? That's how I believe it's going to work. You Christians who get left behind because you're following an idiot like this, you will see, okay? You will see. But see what he's doing. Dressed as a woman. Boasting tattoos. Putting lip. Are you? <laughs> it's not funny. 
and, and, and I'm sorry. I, I, I was not expecting that Aerosmith stuff. I'm sorry that I subjected you to that. I'm sorry. I repent of that. Forgive me. I repent of that. Okay? Please forgive me. But, dude. Dude. See, what he's doing, he's building the case against the Muslim. When we as the Church of the Living God, we ought to be focusing all our energy and attention on to attacking Satan's church, Roman Catholicism, the true enemy of God, okay, and her daughters, and the doctrines that come from Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. See what this guy is doing. He's serving the Vatican. How? He's going after the Muslim. And yes, hey, I'm not defending the Muslims. What they believe is going to send them to hell. Uh, they are a daughter of the Vatican themselves. Islam, the religion, okay? All right? Uh, Robert, uh, Brother Alberto Rivera's testimony, uh, he, he wrote a whole, there was a whole comic book thing on that about him, about uh, Islam and stuff like that, okay? But... This man is building the case against the Muslim, making it strong so when he and you Christians go into that time, here's the fuel to light the fire to go after the, uh, the Muslims. And if you're a Muslim, you need to be aware of this. You, son of Ishmael, you, daughter of Ishmael, Muslim, you are going to be the one that that man of sin, the son of perdition, goes after at the first. To get all the world behind him. You're going to be the common enemy. And you're going to lose. Then, midway through the time of Jacob's trouble, then that man of sin, the son of perdition, is going to turn and then go after the Jews. And that ferocity that he is going to show to you, Muslim, is going to be quadrupled time in, in violence as to what that man of sin the son of perdition is going to go on, do unto the Jewish people but this is the start of it the building blocks for it okay I, I, I like I said this is extraordinarily extraordinarily impromptu I I I I, I, I speechless this is a Muslim era no drink in this era this is a Muslim era okay vigilantes implementing Islam upon your own necks there's a new sheriff in town. Unfortunately, he's so busy worrying about people drinking beer that he just can't find time to stop the rampant sexual abuse of young British girls by Pakistani rape gangs. So, having a pint? Haram. Gang raping 11-year-old infidels? Halal. Welcome to the bizarro morality of Islam. Now see, what he is talking about may in itself be true and right, but it's disqualified because it's coming from someone calling himself a Christian, wearing a dress, and boasting about his tattoos. Okay, I, we, I'm sorry. We can't. We can't. I can't. We, 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 we can't. We can't. Okay, I'm sorry. We, we can't. We can't. Um, I can't. I can't. Uh, get out of there, get out of there. I can't, we can't go on with any more of this. We can't, okay? Sorry, okay? And you shut Man. David Wood. Th this guy, watch out for this guy. And here, I, I just want to show you this, okay? About th the Trinity, okay? I don't know what happened to this idiot's main channel, okay? I really don't know, and I don't care. Check this out, okay? There is one question. Christians fear most. One question we can't possibly answer. One question that keeps us up at night. It's about time we take an honest look at it. Any Christian who spends more than five seconds talking to Muslims online. There was an upside down, uh, upside down triangle, by the way. Okay. But will be asked, how can you believe that one plus one plus one equals one? Muslims are so incredibly proud of this objection that they post it over and over and over again. Now, one now plus one. hold on, okay? Now, you see the channel, if you want to find this guy... <laughs> 
I don't think I've seen this once before. Um, this guy doesn't quote any scripture in this video. If uh, if he does, uh, he doesn't because he'll quote a Bible, not not the scriptures, the authorized version. Okay, but as I he, this guy won't he doesn't even quote a Bible in this. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna go through this video, but I, I wanted to show this to you because the one plus one plus one equals one. Uh, yeah, it's insane. Muslims, atheists understand it. But listen, okay, listen to one this. One plus one equals one, right? One plus one plus one equals one, Christians answer. Christianity, God is one plus one plus one equals one. Islam, one equals one. Y'all should take a hit at the Islamic belief of one God. If you do, I know it would just be a bunch of lies saying, no, one is not equal to one. Christian in school taking a test. One plus one plus one equals three. Pass. Christian in church for 2,000 years before God. One plus one plus one equals one. Fail. Double standard. What about this guy in his madrasa trying to spell the word Christian? Fail. Shut up. But you believe one plus one plus one equals one. Speak now, don't post a comment, then make it funny. You lying. When you say one plus one plus one equals one, that means either you're lying or you're illiterate. Which one is it? One plus one plus one equals one in Trinity. I think you say one plus one plus one equals one. That's the problem. Islam is very simple. One Allah and many prophets. Christian, one plus one plus one equals one. Well, there you have Those are valid arguments against the Satanic, Roman Catholic, Babylonian, Egyptian Trinity. Valid. Uh, you want to know uh, if you're a Muslim, an atheist, you see this? I... Uh, the, uh, there'll be a link in the description box. Who is on the cross? Okay? <laughs> okay? Uh, the Trinity is Catholic. Okay? It's of Satan. The Trinity will be on the earth during the time of Jacob's trouble. And it'll be the, uh, the, what is it? The dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. Okay? But God? Okay? Who is God? What is God? Okay? Very quickly. First John chapter 5, verse 7, which a heretic like this would call the Johannian comma. Um, first John 5 verse 7 for there are three that bear record in heaven the Father the Word and the Holy Ghost and these three are one how are they one in what is called the Godhead what is the Godhead the Godhead is spirit soul and body you and I as man we are made in the image of God. It doesn't matter if you're an atheist or Muslim. It doesn't matter if you believe that or not. That is the truth. You have a spirit. You have a soul. You have a body. That's how we are made in the image of God. Okay? God has a soul. The Father. God has a spirit. The Holy Ghost. God has a body. The Word made flesh. Spirit soul and body and these three are one not three people persons a person is a spirit soul and body not three persons that make one god which atheists and muslims have enough brains to figure out that the trinity is satanic but yet this i'm not going to link this guy's videos you you watch this you'll be able to find it on your own Watch this guy try to defend the Trinity. Uh, like I said, your nose, is, your brain is going to uh, drop out your nose because it's so stupid. Okay? Okay? This, 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 brethren. This. This is Christianity. This is Christianity. <laughs> this is Christianity, okay? This paltroon, this imbecile, okay? And he's uh, he's doing what is uh, a tactic called chaff and redirect, okay? 
like I said, he's he's magnifying going after the Muslims to uh, to give fuel to the fire after we, the Church of the Living God, get redeemed. Okay, but okay, can you see this? Can you see this? Okay, see this? The video that we were just on. Can you see that? Okay, that's the that's the sign of the Trinity. Okay, that's the that's the symbol of the Trinity. Okay. And, and uh, you know what? You know what? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right. All right. All right. One, one second. All right. All right. We're, we're done with that, David Wood, that imbecile. But, uh, okay. Here, see this? Trinity. Okay. Trinity. Check this out. Okay. You see that? You see that? Okay. You see that? Uh, the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father. The Holy Spirit is not... Uh, oh, wait, what is it? The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Father. Jesus in the Scriptures refers to Himself as the Father. Okay? Uh, what is that? Uh, let, let's really uh, quickly go here. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, think, Brett. This is very impromptu. Uh, first, uh, John chapter 14, okay, John chapter 14, verses 6 on to verse 9. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For ye, if ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, shewest the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, the soul of the Godhead? Okay? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. The Father that dwelleth in me. So the Father is the Son. And the Son declared himself to be the Father. Okay? Alright? Alright? And uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 3. Okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 17. Alright. Now, the Lord is that Spirit. Capital S. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Lord is that Spirit. What Spirit? The Holy Spirit. Okay? So, this right here is Satanism. And you want to know what else this is? This is the female matrix. Look at it. I'm sorry to subject you to this. But this is, and notice that uh, David Wood, heretic, devil, scumbag, his apologetics thing was an upside down triangle. Okay, look at it. Those are the two eggs, and you can picture, and you can put together your, uh, the rest of it yourself. When you see that, this is a sex symbol. And that is what most Christians Glorify as God? This is Christianity. There's no saving this. There's no reforming this. Your only hope is that you get saved, truly saved. You come to our Lord Jesus Christ, God, who is our Father, broken, contrite, and in fear of Him, you call upon His name, and He save you. This is a this is the female matrix, and it's right in front of your face. God help you. God help you. That and that. That's enough. I... See you in the next video, okay? God help us.